Drakir. And oh, come on, stupid lamp. It's not. I plug it out because it's not my usual streaming day. So plug back in. Turn. There we go. Uh, stream manager. Okay, that that should do something. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hello, everyone who is watching now later on YouTube. Helene here, and welcome to uh, well something Friday, I guess, <laughs> to uh, make up for the fact that uh, yesterday I had to quit early. So. Yeah, we said we'd give this another go, uh, so yeah, or not really another go, but more that we'd look a bit further with it. So yeah, an hour, maybe two of this. Yeah, hopefully this time we unravel why most YouTubers they just stop playing at the point we stopped playing last time. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't <laughs> deal. <laughs> much damage, but it is killing them. Now, if I recall correctly, the okay, they <laughs> well, that's by the start. The uh, goblin or whatever wanted worm blood, so I guess we can immediately immediately turn that in. Oh dear. All right. Alright, it looks like it's run better for me to see it than last time we play this. Okay. The last time it was very choppy. I've. Yep. <laughs> Wrong. Yep. I was trying to attack, but. Yeah, like. No, not that. Can we. Okay, we can just pause things. Um. Switch, steel swords. There we go. Okay, pick everything back up. Some berries. Okay. Um, oh, for a moment I thought, why is there a symbol of armor? But that's, that's how much durability the armor has left. Where? Uh, on the right of. No, not that. That. Oh, there! Yep. Okay. okay. What will you give us for that stuff? I knew it, this is a secret, I must set up a, a, a laboratory immediately. Okay, that was quick. Your rewards, bring materials to my lab and I will mix up a magic potion for you. So basically the reward for a quest was to uh, get another quest. Okay, attack potion. Okay, let's give that a try. No other quests for now though? All right. All right. Yeah, that, um, how do I work with this stream manager thing? No, I want to see if there are actually people watching or not. But uh, yeah, I'll just move on with this. What other quest do we have? We have the gold bar. So we have to go quite deep to get that. Let's get the swords. Now, didn't we have... We had a torch earlier, but apparently we, lo we lost that, or it burned out. Okay. Everything... No, not, not that or that. For that. Okay, uh, how do I star those actually? Uh, 
Hmm. I don't think it actually told us how to favorite something. No, I don't think so either. It said it's. Oh, there you go. Oh, Q. Okay, it's simple enough. There we go. No. Was it. We don't have anything to smelt. But we do have plenty of things to cook. Actually, how many can I. Okay, yeah, that's a bunch. Seven breads. We might as well add some coal to ensure that it keeps it running. Where was the torch? Let's make two just to be sure. So we always have a spare. And, uh, well, now we go diggy diggy hole with Miss Bellum. <laughs> Oh, well, well. That is, I'll, I'll be listening to the song later. Okay, for now let's just go straight down and grab all of the iron that we find, though. Oh, hello there. Dragon Mario! Oh, that deals a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, <laughs> out of here. <laughs> okay, I, I keep pressing tab because I'm still too used to freaking Valheim. Yeah, it's not funny. You know, play Valheim, I accidentally use the off controls, but when I play Ark, I accidentally use Valheim controls. <laughs> okay, grab all of that. I would. I don't know why they added in Valheim, they added tab as inventory. Uh, yeah, that, it, that was a curious decision, to say the least. Yeah, it's not bad, but, well, the, oh, I could say the benefit sounds closer to the war buttons. So you're a bit uh, closer to that button, and I could feel the future that way. You can still oh. chat to people like uh, in Terraria. Yep. Let's store all of the extra stuff. Not those. Okay, we can we can toggle with Q. <coughs> At any uh, inventory. I don't know if I think about it. I think there's some older games that actually had the tab as the inventory button. Or both, even. Okay, that's new. Oh, very old game, though. I think it was the before the, the high button was official inventory. A lantern? Okay. Ooh. That would be better than a torch, I presume. Oh god, I actually used a lantern uh, on off the other day on uh, part of a mod uh, with uh, a hop song and one of the friends. Okay. And then he had a quite a hilarious reaction when I brought it to what been of the night. Okay. <laughs> he asked me, um, is that the lantern of that damn sun that you have in your hand? Yes, it was very bright. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, not enough for a steel pickaxe. Okay, uh, let's let's have a chat with the miner and see if she does have tips for digging that deep. Mine through stone. Oh, okay. So we need to get through stone to get all craft an iron or steel. Let's see. What do we have at the moment? A stone pickaxe. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, we uh, have iron, but alright. Uh, we've already converted all of our iron <laughs> to steel, though. So that is a bit useless to us at the moment. But you could you then make a steel pickaxe, then, right? A what? You could make a steel pickaxe as well. 
Yeah, we just need to find a bit more uh, iron to work with. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and we left that be here before. Oh okay. yeah, I think it's a bit too. Actually, yeah. Now the game is a bit choppy again. Okay, now it's moving for you. Okay, this game is not pixelated. But that uh, was a side effect. That's weird, but I wonder why it gets choppy. Okay, I'm just turning down the sound volume somewhat because it is quite loud on my end. Uh, yeah, it, it could just be that there's internet issues on either of our side, or at worst, at both of, of our sides. Yeah, I'm uh, checking. Uh, it's not giving me the warning of internet issues. Okay. How about yeah. it? Seems, uh, this, this is the only game I think I've played that gets choppy. Normally when you have internet connection on either of the side, it gets pixelated. But this one gets choppy. Okay, that's odd. Indeed, so makes me wonder... Yeah, makes me wonder if this game doesn't like being shared over uh, Discord. Alright, now, now you... I'm gonna shut up. Well, if he's like, I'm gonna say it's fine if I jinx it. <laughs> Well, yeah, there are certain games that just don't like the, <coughs> the just don't like sharing software for some reason. Let's see. There it is. Okay, that's one down. We'll need four more though. Mm, iron. Oh, that <laughs> only two more. And though I should keep an eye out on my stamina since that's getting low. Hmm, that, that reminds me of random fact. Hmm? If I. I don't know if this is true, but I heard, I heard that from some people that people in middle, in middle ages and in the past had a bit more better uh, amount of. Uh, iron uh, in the diet, most because of they had so many iron tools, uh, iron pots and stuff to cook it in. Okay, I find that a bit dubious, but well, yeah, I I, I'm no expert. Oh, come on, you need two to make one? Okay, oh. we're going to need even more. <laughs> the stupid met I stupid gold then. Yeah, but yeah. It makes sort of sense that those iron that go that pops off of your iron pot, or maybe this is microscopic. So that sort of makes sense, but um, at the same time, uh, yeah, it does sound a bit sketchy. Yeah, you need you really need to think hard to for it to make sense. Then again. Lead pipes are, well, not a thing that's done anymore because it might, uh, pardon, <clears throat> because it might get into water that running through them. So, yeah, on that way it makes so sense in the same way. Yeah, and as a, if it's for the same reason you don't use uh, metal cups or... Uh, Copper cups for tea and coffee for the metal will ru basically ruin the taste on the tea and coffee. Okay. Basically, make it easy. Yeah, basically, if you drink tea for a copper cup, uh, for them, example, it will, it will taste quite metally. And it will even flake into it, apparently. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, this <laughs> we can dig quite fast like this, so we can just straight up go right back up. Not to the center of the earth. Yep. And yeah, the board just can't get through that. <laughs> All right then. I I start to wonder if 
the, you ever have wronged a boar sometime in your life. Well, I might have been boring. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> that might be why. Here's the fourth thing, folks. Boars are very aggressive against Ilya in this game. But also, in Valheim, boars are something against him. Boars have broken one of his bones and tried to break his stuff. I still managed to tame a few of them. Oh yeah, but one of them somehow escaped. Yeah, a little freaking Houdini. <laughs> and it, it's gonna fit in his escape since you accidentally made the pig the corner look like an impression camp with his own tower. <laughs> oh, uh, hello. Here's the people, big big tower. We just uh, stole the entire village from Draugr's. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Rocky, bye bye. Rock yeah, player. Ach achievement and a diamond, okay. Are, are we going to have to make. Are we going to end up making diamond pickaxes? Oh no. Hmm. Hey, you bought diamond pickaxe and golden armor. You can guild an arm, uh, iron armor to make it rust proof, that's a thing. But you should never make an entire armor made of gold. Yeah, because gold is a soft metal. Yeah, it, It's Be nice wrong. and shiny, but uh, you could practically punch through it with your fist. Yeah, and also there's one more thing that makes it, it horrible as armor. It's heavy. Yeah. So you're really, you get very slow and soft. Just the worst combination, really. Mm. You know, you maybe could use it as a maze, but uh, better go with bronze. Then it's bronze is way sturdy on the gold. I think silver is no well, heavy as well, but. Yes. I think I, um, it's not as hard as steel and such, I think, but it's still harder than yeah, gold, I think. Oh! That news to, to me. I might be completely wrong. Yep. You see, I, I think I watched one video, but I forgot the, almost everything about it, but. Mm. This is to be different types of silver Hello. you can prepare, and one of them could be decent for sword making, but uh, still, still way better. And if you what you was by Skalagrim, I think he said this said that if you all really need a silver sword to face a werewolf, then yes, you can make one. Just don't use it. Use it against uh, someone in armor or something. Okay. Uh, bread, bread, and we are out of meat at the cook. It seems. Actually, uh, let me take those with. Let's see. We should have five bars now. All of that in there. Yeah, five bars. Now, where is the thief? Where is she? There she, she is. She could have a merchant, but yeah. Perfect. I feel this is the beginning of many lucrative trades between us. <laughs> uh, okay, we can't even move that one. Oh. Take this coin purse, you'll need it to store coins for buying and selling. I recommend buying a super pack as soon as you can, they are a real lifesaver. Okay. Okay, apparently you can carry more items, I guess. Okay, you can sell for coins and stock will change. Ore merchant, weapon dealer, food seller. Okay. 
Wait, go to the food cellar. Oh, well, that's your random food. Of course, the food cellar was showing a bra. Super pack. 250 coins. Okay, that's quite a bit. Wait. Hmm. Wait, but is super pack full coins or items? Uh, items, I presume. Probably to enhance, to enhance how much we can carry. Oh. That's okay, that's a nice little touch. They close up when it gets dark. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. We might as well go for steel wherever we can. One thing every miner needs is a good minecart and rail system. Ores are heavy, and having a way to easily transport them to the storehouse would be amazing. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't really planning on using those myself, uh, but okay. Uh, what do you want, farmer? You know what this farm needs? Some livestock. How about capturing some boars with a net? Uh oh. I'll add a pen for two pigs and eight wood. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, we're getting to domestication already then. Yeah, but that will make them turn into pigs that quickly. Yeah, I think it's sort of awkward depicting that. Yeah, early days during the Viking Age and before, they did not have pink pigs. They basically have uh, tame boars. No, I did the wrong button there. My bad. Okay, Anyways. either. Okay, so it was the uh, whoever he was. <laughs> He can upgrade the kitchen now. Okay. <laughs> it almost feels civilized. Alright, I was commented that uh, he looks a bit more civilized now. And less primitive. And, yeah, he took the word out of my mouth. Okay, let's put some points in weight. Uh, let's see, we have th three quests. Minecart, pig pen, and... Nothing else. Why did it... Okay. Wait. I'm something, I'm not do something odd with the minecart. That's quite a lot of new stuff already. Hamburger. Yeah, <laughs> pie. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Blueberry pie. Okay, so it seems that yeah, meat restores health, and uh, yeah, everything else it seems. Will up yeah, everything else will restore stamina. Hmm. Yeah, that'll, that'll be useful for when we go down further. And I keep pressing that stupid button. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Welcome to my world, lad. <laughs> okay. Now let's let's work on the that rail cart then. Wait, how do you say that? Do mm -hmm. you add a hamburger to your favorite? Yep. Yeah. So we don't put them all away. Oh, didn't I know you like the hamburgers that much. Now they are the best healing item we have at the moment, and I do like good burgers. So, uh, yeah, we we did talk about McDonald's yesterday, and yeah, yeah they they are they are decent. They are tasty, but. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you can get a lot better. We actually have a shop uh, nearby that is literally called Burgers and Ribs. Literally, that is their name. And literally, <laughs> their prime thing is that they sell burgers and ribs. But those are ex those are damn premium burgers. Oh, we have something similar. The, the shop here is called, a very small one, is called Grietas. However, everyone in town for years even before I was born, call it Feta Gretas. It means Fat Greta. Okay. I heard the first, I the original owner, I think he's still, uh, even he's still alive, was so fat so she, she could only turn around to make the burgers. <laughs> okay. And all that just uh, placed that name behind her back. But she is, it is still known as the town's best burger yacht, and yeah. Those are some quality burgers. It's 
cheaper than McDonald's, you feel like you get your money's worth, and they are big, and them taste that tapes like proper burgers. Uh, okay, class. Oh, diamond oh. silver 210, okay, I was thinking we could get like two coins per thing or something, <laughs> but they... Things actually sell for quite a bit, like 53 for steel. Nice. Mm. <clears throat> but I'm not, I'm not, I haven't eaten that in years uh, now, I think, uh, from that place. I think it's because, uh, here's the thing. Normally, when people are too lazy to cook, they buy, they, they ask uh, for, you know, call for a pizzeria and such. Mm. But maybe. I'm too lazy to go away, go and order food and just cook it at home. <laughs> okay, let's see. We, if we start making a rail system, we should probably make it over here next to the save point and the storehouse. So we can just immediately throw it into the inventory. Oh dear. But first we'll need more iron for that. And yeah, we, we bought the super pack there, so we, I think that has up, I think that has upgraded how much weight we can carry along. Though so I don't, oh, that's equipment, inventory, sort. Okay, I th I didn't actually look earlier how much uh, weight we had or didn't have, but I'll presume it is more now. <laughs> You, you could always look up the video later to see, but you do take up the inventory a lot. Yeah. You should be able to see on your own video. Right, here's more stone. And did this game did have a good review on Steam? What? Did the game have a good review on Steam? I, did, I didn't actually look that up, but I... I think it does. I could actually... Well, you could actually look it up right now. <laughs> oh, hello, there's another rock monster. Actually, I can. Uh, let's see here. And don't die to the rock monster. Or you have to deal with me. Okay, I'll deal with Rocky then. The films didn't get any... started to get worse with time anyways. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh, that was painful. Okay. Yes, yes, overcarrying capacity. Just get me up. Oh, hello, boar. Uh, okay. It's overwhelmingly positive. It recently very positive, so. Okay. okay. Oh, I need to switch it out. <laughs> okay. There we go. And then here. Okay, that's 50 extra weight that we can carry. However, like I said, it's, it's overwhelmingly positive of 800 reviews. Yeah, and and that's easy enough. <laughs> uh, oh, no. <laughs> Not that easy after all, it seems. No, I'm not. I'm not yeah, going yeah, yeah. to. I'm not. I'm not going to literally throw diamonds to swine. <sighs> Come on, piggy. Where have to... There we go. And instantly, it's been shaved. <laughs> oh God, that's horrible. Oh, yeah, right that's, then. That, that's a bit inaccurate. Let's buy a bunch more of these just to be sure. It, it, it took quite a long time before they turned pink. Steel workbench. Okay, I'll presume again that is only really for, well, crafting somewhere else. No, for this requires iron ore, not iron bars. Okay. That should be <clears throat> that should be enough rails for the quests. 
then we make as much as this and okay that with this we can make the mine cart get that quest done and then we only really have to catch another pig and then we're done with the current quests again I don't know if I like workbenches. Hmm? I would show that would be nice if you could uh, put them down and pick them up again. But so far it feels like if you accidentally put them down, you're screwed. Yeah. yeah this game certainly isn't perfect. That is very clear as well. Let's yeah. save the pine. But then again, over a really positive of 800 people in total that have made review. So, those that have been playing it do like it, but it's not a uh, massively overwhelmingly played game like. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's unfair to compare it to Valheim. Yeah. That, it, that's like really unfair of me to compare it to. It's a bit more yeah. of a. Yeah, more like Terraria. Better, maybe in some parts, maybe worse in others. Um, I think it's unfair to compare to Terraria as well. At least in the review part. I think, I think Terraria and Valheim is one of those games that have extreme amount of reviews that are honest. Okay, let's just place all of these nets. And we should be able to catch at least one or two of these boars with this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so far my guess is uh, probably due to why men and YouTube did not cover this as the master there, as the. Come on. Thing. Probably due to there were many other games coming out at the same time. Could be, so yeah. So yeah, well, it's good. It may simply got an overshadow. <laughs> And that's three little piggies. <laughs> and we are the, uh, <laughs> well, beehive haired wolf. Come for it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, aren't those the fattest and juiciest looking pigs I've, you've ever seen? Well, they're probably the only ones we've ever seen here. Not for long. Okay, if you want to build more pens, use the pen blueprint. Jeez. Speaking of blueprints. Um, no, we do not have an orchard blueprint. So we still can't deal with that. Okay, that milk from boars. Uh, well, uh, okay. It, well, in, in theory, it, it is possible, but um, unsure if you could. Well, it do. Actually, I feel like that might be possible considering how many babies they feed. Yeah. Just gonna be quite un. Uh, yeah, likely not as easy as you would do with a cow. Yeah. Or a goat, but it's possible. And apparently, there is people that have milk cats, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why they even milk cats to begin with. <laughs> well, actually, I guess they milk cats so they can feed the abandoned baby kittens, perhaps? Maybe. Yeah, at least that, they ma that makes sense. And probably also to sell on site for crazy YouTubers. Yeah. You, Rat and Link. I'll, uh, I don't know who that is, and I'll presume I'm better off knowing them not. You should know that. It's a good me for the morning. Uh, Wait. You're not think good me for the morning? Nope. Oh, you. You're missing out! I might look them up later then, sometime, but for now... We have a minecart to install. 
You, you actually place those. Okay. I placed a minecart and a small rail system. You can expand it and or and move rails. Okay, that's good. Using a crowbar. Okay, we just push this around. Okay. I don't know what I think the mine card looks a bit weird. Yeah, but the, the graphics in this are limited. So, you know, I've seen minecarts look better in all the pixel editing games. Yeah, Minecraft. I must more like thinking uh, DuckTales on those. Yes, I play the old, old Nintendo DuckTales. Okay. Yeah, yes. I, I played through the remake. Oh, you poor sweet child. Oh, I should actually... Wait, I actually tried to watch the remake on YouTube, but no one played it through properly. And by properly, I presume you mean hardcore mode or something? No, no, they... Like, you have to do one or two episodes. Okay, well, we can add it to the two stream list then, sometime. Please, but I, I... It was my introduction to, uh... Scrooge McDuck's original voice. Uh, and it's um, way more better than the Swedish one. Uh, remind me to send you a certain... Uh, actually, I'll probably just do that uh, right after the stream here. Uh, something you'll probably like. Let's see. We need seven wood, five cloths, five nets, and 500 coins. Yeah, of course, they probably do not need that. They probably just only need the materials and the gold is just, well, <laughs> to bribe themselves. Yeah. There's that. Hmm. There's sugar. Okay. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hmm? Was that chili green? Yep. Or it's in a green bag. Oh. See. Okay, okay, never mind. I got a bit worried at first. Let's see. Chicken. Yeah. Oh, it's, it costs 100. It, I forget, it isn't showing the price over here, it's, it's showing the amount. Actually, how much is it? A pig is 53, okay. So it doesn't really pay to to buy nets and get pigs to sell them for more since... Yeah, you... <clears throat> it can... T apparently it can take one to three nets to catch one, so you could end up with 30 coins profits or seven loss. Okay! I was thinking of something, but I forgot what was. Okay, at least for All now, right. though, let... Oh, we don't have... We don't have an iron bar. <laughs> let's make... Let's work towards expanding this. But for now, let's... We keep that, move everything else. Do you remember, it was a time long ago where pigs were currency. Uh, yeah, back in the barter days, huh? Yep. Again, some traded cows for wives and all that. Which I still found weird. Let me marry my daughter for five cows or something like that. It, yeah, it sounds so weird. Okay, they have yeah. vanity slots in here. Yeah. Okay, did not expect that. Actually, where is that lantern there? Okay, no, no. What do I do with this? Fuel, coal. Mm, let's put five in there. Let's favorite that, and then exchange it for the torch. Okay, that might, that should give better lighting, I hope. And yeah, I guess <laughs> we'll be putting down the minecart system over here instead. Uh, 
anything? Yeah, we just need more... <clears throat> more metal at the moment. So, yeah, we just keep digging and digging. And digging, and digging. There is some quartz that will be useful for selling, even if nothing else. Though okay, I get the feeling we'll probably need it more later. Yeah, and now I'm get. I guess I'll be listening to some wind rows tomorrow. Okay. If you wonder, if you wonder what they are, they are basically an Italian band that has done a lot of wolf song over the, the last year or two. Okay, what was, what was their name again? Wind Rose. I know of them. They did a metal version of Diggy Diggy Hole, didn't they? Yep. They I, actually, I actually didn't like that cover. Yeah, they, they have other songs that are a bit better. I found, I found the cover funny, but I like the reach of all a bit more. Yeah. For their yeah. own uh, music, music installation. But I like the, the cover at least. For. Come on, it's the first YouTube song becoming a cover for Metal Band. Yeah. So, still, still like it for that at least. But they have other songs about dwarves I like. With, like, Wind to the Saga. Okay. That one is very good. And, and I think most of the dwarf songs that are, are in relation to Lord of the Rings. Okay. So, yeah, they have definitely this song about the Mr. Mountains and those. Uh, yeah, that one from the. the... Far over the misty mountains. Uh, yeah, I, for I forget the specific de uh, title of that song, but it is a very good song in the movie. Yeah. They have not done the cover of that one, but they have done their own songs set in that area and other dwarf kingdoms. Okay. So, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they do that sooner or later, but they are quite good and have some nice music videos too. That, that Spider. Yummy. Okay, that was unexpected. I saw something blue shoot across the screen. Well, now you can make a dress. Okay. Grab some berries. So let's not remember another weird pack. I question if it's true. Hmm? What, what then? This is this is for long ago. I think I heard this when I was a kid. Like that, someone had made experiment with spider web and made it very thick, like one meter thick or something, or I forgot how thick it was, and it was able to stop an airplane. Uh, that's I doubt, do doubt, yeah. But spider silk is actually as as strong, if not stronger, than than steel. So if you could get enough spider silk together to make, well, a, a twig out of it, then it could stop a lot of things, yeah? Yeah, and I actually think that some uh, Greeks actually used some spider silk along with other stuff to make a, a, a armor that was made of linen, uh, linen, spider silk. And some other stuff that basically was like a glue, and they made that, yeah, you know, that basic that looked like a leather, tabbed leather uh, muscle harness. Okay. So it's actually made of linen and not leather. Well, it, some of them did have leather, but always a combination with spider, linen, some leather. Yeah, it was a lot of materials layered in there. Okay, this is something I like. The cheeseburger here is made with the hamburger and cheese, obviously. But you can also just make it from the core components. So you don't have to go, okay, now I make uh, 20 of this thing, which I then use to make uh, 5 of th uh, that thing. You know, you just go, like just go that straight that, to it. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. I kind of like that. Yeah. That is... That's good design, Ooh, if yeah. nothing else. Yeah, so far, I like this game, but I can think, I feel like I can see why YouTubers just only cover it so for a short moment due to there were so many other games coming out at that time. Yeah. 
So I could see it getting overshadowed quite peak quickly. But at least they tried to spread the word about it. Tree seeds, apple seeds. Okay, 63 for a hamburger. A cheeseburger. Steak we get quick enough. Let's see. Still need 300. Oh no! I just remember the burger I used to order over at the Greta's. Okay, and that was? A double 400 gram burger with cheese, bacon and hamburger dressing. Yes, it was an entire meal by its own. And they usually love to add way more hamburger dressing than needed. This is also probably why I stopped the buying there, besides for being lazy to go over there. I always had to watch my beer after eating. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's take these. Uh, yeah, I will be using those rails perhaps a bit more, but for now I think... Uh, have we actually made a crowbar? For now I think I'll just do, do it going back and forth, because for now it's a short enough distance too. Let's see. Crowbar... There's a shovel here, but no crowbar. Again! <laughs> Uh, I I keep again there. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to react to me burping. Nope. Okay, there's our crowbar. Right, still the wrong button. Uh, wait, oh no. I think another YouTuber had this problem that you and me have been having about the tab button. Due to Valheim. And I think what makes it anno so easy to get used to is because in Valheim it becomes both the inventory and the crafting button because it opens those both at the same time. Or there they are the Well yeah, they're both open at the same time. It yeah, and uh, Yeah, if you look at the keyboard the tab button is very close to uh, WASD. Yeah, so it, it, you can just move your hand slightly to open it up. You instead of having to uh, reach all the way over to I. Yeah, you can have both hands on the keyboard. But he, 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 actually, yeah, he it allows you to do that and still have your hand on the mouse. Well, you still use, need to use the mouse to look around. Hey, a bit too much stuff. Alright. That tab actually makes sense why tab button is the inventory for... If the game is supposed to be a mouse and keyboard played, then having the tab as inventory makes more sense. Yep. Okay, let's deposit all of this before we break Miss Bellum's back. <laughs> Oh dear. I, I forgot that that was her name. Let's see. And I won't be surprised if there's many fan of not of her. No, oh, of course there's fan art. If if there if a character exists, there exists fan art. Oh, I should I should put that pig in the last pen that I built. Yeah. Oh wait, I want to think of wrong fan art. Uh, how did you get behind the... <laughs> okay. Okay, and uh, what? Oh, manure. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I think I used to... I think you know which fan art I was meaning. Yep. <laughs> 
Okay, but since we don't have an orchard, we don't have a steady wood income, so we should take a look at that. Wait, a orchard supposed to give you fruit, not trees? Yeah, uh, it. In this game, it gave both apples and wood earlier. Or I guess it would make sense if you have an apple tree that uh, is no longer growing good fruit. Yep. We've got the right to an apple tree we had at home. We had an apple tree that haven't grown proper apples for years. Then suddenly, one year, it grew no, no apples except for one damn massive one. And I ate it. Okay, Apple Prime. It was damn tasty. And I think it was the last apple I ever made. As he, if I remember, I think it was like a fist with another fist on top. That's how big it was. Oh, we can actually name the island. Oh. Okay, with the pen we can now produce meat and milk. If you want to grow more, pl simply plant more seeds. You can also manage and remove existing crops at the barn. Wait, so we just need to use the apple seeds? Okay, let Can do we just... Wait, here is the nameplate. Okay. Our name. Okay then, give it up. Alright. Hilheim! Yes. Okay. Uh, now let's... Do we simply just plant the apple seeds? No we idea. are... It is that freaking simple. Okay. Would have been yeah, nice yeah. if they'd explained that a bit more, but at least now we also have wood income again. Lovely. And also, originally it was Gillian Hein, but uh, a bit long. <laughs> he lied. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go see about laying some more track with this. Um, I can actually set these to a hotkey, so if I do that... Okay. There we go. And that's already out. Interesting sound effect. Let's see. Back into the stone. And there was something down lower that was of interest, but that I didn't, there we go, head towards yet. Okay. If I break you. Oh, I, okay, that burns, yeah. <laughs> Should have been expected. Okay, so that is basically our next barrier that we'll have to find a way around. Or through, more likely. Yeah, and oh god. Just make me remember, I, but I think I heard from Game Theory that in theory. Yes. In theory, the Game Theory. You could make a stone boat to float on lava. Uh, yeah, because lava is basically just. Well, oh, not a. Is basically just uh, molten stone. So, yeah, if the lava would be heavier, or rather thicker in density, then a stone boat could float on it. It would still start to melt, but still. Yeah, I think the thing that theorized that the... Oh, I think of granite? It would make the best the stone boat for it, but yeah, let's be honest. It could take time to call out the stone boat from granite. Yeah. Granite it does have a high melting point, if I rem remember correctly. I, I think in Dwarf Fortress you can actually make uh, lava forges out of granite, because, well, 
that game is quite realistic with some of with a lot of its things. So yeah, if you make a lava fort out of any material that is combustible, then <laughs> it is going to light the fuck up. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. And that song cool to have a fort made of granite. Yeah. Just uh, don't take it for granite. I think we broke him, folks. <laughs> oh, I was out on the floor. And I'm rolling. I'm not rolling. <laughs> okay, not as hard as. <laughs> not as hard as from. Uh... Oh, God, was it Brutal Logan, was it? Yeah. Oh god, I think Brutal Legend is the one you broke me the worst on. Uh, let's see, what, 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 so I, for a moment I thought that the slapping sound was you face palming there. No, no, I was on the floor. <laughs> that just makes it even more better. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't fall totally through, I just... Slide it to the floor, I just put my head on the chair. For, yeah, you, you made me stop laughing just after I had to uh, take a big sip. <laughs> and yeah, I tried to not laugh too much, otherwise it, yeah. Feels like I could throw up or something. <laughs> A spit take? Uh, no, just... Uh, yeah, if I love too hard, you know how your belly stretch when you really love hard? Uh, yeah. That's what I was about to try to struggle to not do. Let's see. Build blueprints on hits. Okay, so you could use hammers to speed up construction. What? Uh, Sounds more like me that if you hammer something, it turns into a blueprint. This is not how you make paper, folks. You don't hammer a random person to turn them into paper. That's just how it works. Uh, well, you could with a lot of effort. <laughs> okay, so for that's now... That's, that's called pancaking. Let's make and... some steel armor. Okay, I had to critique them on their share icon. But this, tw this twice now I'm mistaken the share icon to be brass. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that's a lot of rail that we have now. And one little annoyance, not really a full complaint, but uh, a collect all button would have been nice here. That you just. Uh, yeah, you collect all everything that is something has made all at once. Yeah, that could be. Hmm. I think there are many games that don't have the take all button, but those things that don't have it usually don't need it for you to know, get that large amount of items to begin with that needs it. You should need a pick all button where you have a massive load of loot offered to you. Yeah, oh, out of fuel. Okay, we have enough now that I think we can just plain buy the rest of what we need. Let's see, 63 for cheeseburger. Iceberries, plus one defense. Okay, that's a new one. I heard of people doing winter berries and stuff, but and snow berries, but ice berry is new. That is a new twist on it. 
makes me wonder if they taste like ice cream. Hmm. Let's see, 450. We need a lot more than that. Uh, what the hell did you come from? Okay. Good question. I didn't see him either. I think he just happened to spawn on you. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Steel armor goes for 231. Wait, hold on. Hold on here. Hmm? That's a, it's like an oversight. If mob spawns inside your city like that. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do a bit of a quick comparison here to see if it's really worth it to make something out of the materials or if the materials themselves sell for more so steel armor sells for or we can sell steel armor for three uh, 231 now how much does one steel sell for 50 um okay that is a profit because four steel bars would be 212 for now, let's just sell these diamonds, since we don't have a use for them yet. That'll give us enough gold, and should be enough to buy five nets and call... Well, finish the... <coughs> finish the quest right there. Okay, where's a little thief? Uh, that, that was really a, a very old meme, but I forgot how it is pronounced. Okay, and now we have a dock. Okay, once you build a boat at the dock house, you'll be ready to travel across the sea. We haven't actually even <laughs> traveled inland here. I noticed a wolf pap hanging around our settlement. He seems lonely. Does he have a pack? must have left them behind. With three nets, three traps, and six meat, we may be able to tame him. Okay. Except... Can we actually make our own nets? Okay, here... Here's the thing now. Depending what kind of boat they are making, I question if that doesn't mean they can just go home. Uh, it was, well, not exactly stated, but yeah, very hinted with the talk of other planets that basically they there was a spaceship crash. Yeah, all right, yeah, or, or another planet, but they seem to be on a boat when uh, they landed here. So on this planet, they apparently should be other cities. Yeah. So I guess they just landed on the unexplored areas, perhaps. It could very well, could very well be. Yeah. Let's see. For a boat, we need nine steel, nine woods, nine cloth, and nine nets. And, and that looks like the boat that you expect to be able to sail back to the other islands or country or whatever that it is. Yeah. Uh, let's see, we need cotton for that, and I think one of these sold cotton seeds. See, yeah, cotton seeds, 250. What's with my brain today? I'm thinking of so many random trivia facts. <laughs> okay, we need a bit more meat. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's start making some things into better things so we can sell them. Yep, and um, yeah. Here's the trio fact of the day, another one for the day, folks. Before Europeans um, the, got to see the cotton plant, they actually thought that the India had uh, sheep growing from the earth as a bush that they shed the, the cotton from. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And they, oh god, they had, a, they had a name for them. I forgot what. 
But uh, yeah, they apparently the travelers claim that uh, they had. Uh, yeah, I think that, I think like the, the, the few Europeans that did go to India were very. Someone got very misunderstood when they explained what the cotton plant was. Uh, I know of two people who explored India or er, somewhat early on. Uh, one was Ibn Battuta, or something like that. Uh, not not really sure if he counted as exploring, because he was mostly just road tripping across the fucking planet. <laughs> and <laughs> there was someone else. Extra credits covered him, I think. Or mm, no, it was overly sarcastic productions. I think mentioned him in one of their videos. But I could, of course, again be wrong because my memory is terrible. It's true, folks. I have to remind him his own name at times. Uh, Hilly, what now was it? It's Hillian Wunderbarg. Uh, no, we don't want to use the method. I should read up more Dutch, so I can give him a proper joke for Dutch names. Let's take these. Make more of these. And then we go digging again. Oh dear. Oh, hello again. I should check what that sells for and get it back here. Does it actually say in the inventory perhaps how much? Okay, okay, it sell it. Yeah, it says for how much it sells. So how much? Okay, gold sells good. <laughs> that should be expected. Uh, dragon bloods. Okay, also good. Now though, we keep going down with this. Makes you wonder when we get to see the main dragons. Okay. And I think last we were heading this way. Or at least we dug this way. And we left the minecart behind somewhere. At least we can grab our, our <clears throat> we can fill our inventory with what we find here and then we can just follow the the rail back to the minecart so we can fill it up and come back to fill it with more. Oh, oh hello there, Rocky 3. <laughs> Thank you. find that minecart and we should eat something no, we, okay we have plenty of pies yeah those will keep us down here for quite a bit longer first where is that cart there is that cart uh, yeah everything in there he, he was close to it he couldn't done a very Painful pun that folks. Pretend you're so lucky. Okay, <laughs> I for once I don't know what what the pun would have been there. Dude, where's my car? <laughs> okay, I actually never saw that movie. I I saw clips of it, and I saw it actually fully once. And it was okay. Nothing amazing, but okay. Yeah, sometimes things just click in the time that they are released. Uh, and yeah, other time, other times they do, ju they just hit and miss or just completely miss. 
Yeah, a lot of times, like in my case, you need to get a bit older to understand the humor. Yeah. I think most kids liked it. Just sometimes you need to get a bit older to acquire the taste the, for some uh, humor. Yeah, no. Ah, there's the minecarts. Okay, everything in there again. Is there is there a limit to how much we can stuff in that thing? <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, hello, Rocky 4 and 5. <laughs> oh, come on, cheapskates. Oh, the other ones give me diamonds, and that one gives me a single gold ore. I do think that the original Predator plot idea was born to, to try to make a ro new Rocky movie where the Rocky actually face an alien. <laughs> Jacob. Uh, yeah, the 80s and 90s were filled with just plain dumb ideas for movies. Yeah. But this is a case of the actually made a so awesome alien design. I felt like, screw Rocky, we're making a horror movie of this. <laughs> and so became the Predator franchise. Okay, let's fill up with this again. Yeah, uh, I can s I can see why people would quit this game uh, early on, but because it takes a bit of work to snowball. But once once things get rolling, yeah, they get rolling. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is quite common in many of these games to uh, have a bit of, of uh, that effect. But this one is is so extra much. Yeah. They do certainly like the automation effect that the NPCs actually go do stuff and not just sit on their asses like in Terraria. Yeah. Okay, I, or or I should I probably the extend the line a bit. I think the only thing is where NPCs are trying to be useful. Or besides the merchants. There were only four rail left, so it doesn't matter much anyways. Um, yeah, let's go grab a bit more up here, and then we go back. I'm guessing Miss Bellamy is starting to get sick of all of the pies that she swallowed. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Yeah, we need, I've been eating these pies for more stamina to be down here longer. A pie! <laughs> Okay, what were you thinking then? Hmm? Look at the pinecone! <laughs> nope, you can actually eat pinecones, I think, but not that you'd actually want to, because they probably don't have much of a taste of anything. Now they have a breast, so they would be good for your stomach. The only problem is, I'm, I really don't get confused about pinecone, is how you eat them! Yeah, I'm guessing uh, you just have to tear off pieces, and they are basically all, all woods. Yeah, it needs me. Many times I see the picture of how you eat them. That's only been only been in jokes. So I don't know if any of them even is the way you eat a roasted pie cone. I can so think of one possible way, and you are very close to the surface. No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, the only real way I can think of how to eat a pine cone would be to cook it into some cook it with something else. Hmm. Well, again, as I said, people roast them and eat them. Then again, some pine trees. Uh, oh God, what's it called? Yeah. Pine trees and those uh, don't have leaves, they have a... I know the Swedish word for it. I don't know the English word for it. Uh, English word for it. Okay. The, green, uh, the green spikes they have instead of leaves. 
uh, pine uh, trees. Yeah. I know you can eat do stuff on some of them. As long as they are before they harden, that is. You have the, some of the grass stuff that are very soft, like they are about to very new, you can eat those. Okay, oh, yeah. someone has a new quest. Oh dear. Made a new trade, has got some cotton seeds. Yep. Oh, come on, I bought those earlier myself. Okay, that at least that means we have double, we're going to have double production of cotton. Which we'll probably need. Uh, yeah, there they are. Plants. I, gotta, I think I'm gonna later to see if I can YouTube up uh, how you eat a pine cone. Just to finally have it all of a sudden. Hmm. Acorns, it is a bit more, more no brainer on how you eat those. You want me to eat my acorn? Uh, okay, I can dig into this now. Um, I, I've eaten and quite liked something called uh, acorn mushrooms, or something akin to that if you translate it directly. And I quite like those. And I'll need, I'd need to check how expensive they were. I don't think they were that pricey compared to normal mushrooms. Acorn way. They're the brown mushrooms. Oh, the, the brown one that looks like a... <clears throat> Just uh, like a wider no white mushroom. Yeah, I was praying is another mushroom and not the one I'm thinking of. That's usually in slang for penis. Okay, the, the alchemist wants us to catch worms. Alright. Why does he want a light? I'm getting worried here. Oh, hello. We Rest in... So there was shivering and alone on the dark mountainside when I saw firelights and I heard left and heard laughter. It sounded so companionable. So he came down to make friends with us? Of course not, <laughs> I certainly wasn't hunting boars to try and impress you, not at all. Uh, of course you were. I simply wanted to expand my hunting range. So you wanted to hunt us? <laughs> okay. I suspect there might be more in this mountain. I think. Oh yeah, wait, it is a mountain. My brain dropped. Oh, uh, hello there. Is that you, Frosty? Uh, but of. <laughs> <laughs> well, those. Uh, yeah, Frosty just teabagged us, I'd say. It's Frosty balls. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> wait, we we got milk from a boar. Okay. Wait, wait. Yeah, you know what baby piglets drink, right? Yeah, but uh, I'm just surprised we got a whole thing from a wild one. Uh, yeah. Celebrate, I found some sugar reeds. Okay. Uh oh. There it begins. Yeah, it is really expands fast. Yeah, it has a very slow curve. And just went... just rockets up. Yeah. Hmm. I 
wonder if we might be running out of space or no though. Unless we can build partially underground. Not that. Not no, don't discard plant this. I, I know there are many games that are all very slow at start, then there's a sudden rocket. But this game is extreme in that regard. Yeah, I think it actually goes quite a bit further than just what we already have. Like, we, I'm pretty sure it... <clears throat> uh, at one point we can go into space and visit other planets, so... We, yeah, for that we probably need a hell of a lot more materials than 9 steel and such. Yeah, but when you visit other planets, then it feels like... Can't you just go home now? Okay, let's see what we can do with this pop. Okay, <laughs> big puppy. <laughs> well done, he seems to trust you completely. You have a loyal companion now. You can have the tame wolf follow you by using the familiar slot in your equipment window. Okay. Do you see wolf icon up there? I did not. I, I was more trying to get that to text behind the token. He's next to you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that is that is quite a bit uglier. Yeah, that's the ugliest wolf design I've ever seen. So the developers, I know you won't talk about. Yeah, you can only yeah. do so much with uh, this little amount of pixels. Yeah, well, I think people do better. So the bit on the headpiece earlier on the cutscene, that one was marvelous. Yeah. That uh, that's just undeniable. That that is actually quality work. Oh yeah. So it feels a bit almost insulting to that piece of work that it just gets miniaturized into that. Uh, let's see. Let's make a steel axe for when we start to get cutting down trees on our own again. Sells. Sells for 70. Oh, oh, that's iron bars. Okay, not steel. By the way, when did we start? Um, we are at 1 hour and 22 minutes now. We did start a bit... We did start very off schedule, which is why I don't stream on Fridays, because Friday is very uh, variable in times. Yeah, yeah dinner being late and such because of... Uh, a swimming thing I I help at. I don't I don't teach swimming, or I don't give swimming lessons to use proper grammar. Or, uh, I used to, but not anymore now. Mostly because well I I kind of got tired of it, and it got just uh, frustrating. So yeah, now I help with keeping attendance. All right. Wait, hold on. Does that mean that one could call you seven party? Or Technically. Oh, this one's out no. of fuel. Oh dear, now we have no fuel for his torments. <laughs> okay. Let's give. Let's wait a little bit now for this to process, and then I can try and figure out the stream manager again. Yeah, that that's just uh, almost a complete blank light on the camera when they show that. And, oh God! Look at the wolf and you at the moment. You and him become one. Or oh, it looks like he has a big orange turd on his head. Hmm. I, I can't figure this thing out, really. I'm trying to see if there are people in the chat watching, but it, it just... Ref I can't see an option in here to show that to me. Let's see. Activity feed, no interest in that. And that's the only thing in the options here. 
Uh, I guess I'll just have to open this to my own channel and watch the stream in there. <laughs> For it's this to work. Which showing me if there are people here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello, four noons. <laughs> Okay, this finishes in the meantime. More of that. I think we might be low on coal. More steaks. More bread. All of these. And more of these. I wonder if you can automate this further m uh, later on or something. Yep. You mean to get a chef? Yeah, basically. Well, you do have a wolf you could train. Uh, I don't think I... Uh, okay, good doggy. I don't <laughs> think uh, he has the dexterity to really... Uh, work the kitchen that well and he'd, he'd yeah. get fur all over the place yeah I just noted that he has a very disturbing tongue animation yeah he looks quite mad and we're overweight so let's just drop all of that off and let's see anything to keep in here the axe and the rail, but the rest can all go. Now, let's see, do we have enough cotton to start making our own stuff? There's nothing really here t to interest me for now. I could probably sell stuff later on. But for now, nine cloths, and we can make four. And nine nets. Yeah, we're go we can... Okay, fishing rods. No, 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 it's ten o'clock. <laughs> Let's see, what can we... S what do we have a lot of that we can sell? Quartz. Let's sell that. Nine gold bot. Okay, yeah, th <laughs> that is going to set us up for quite a bit. Diamonds. What's quartz in Dutch? Uh, quartz. It's ba basically with instead of a Q, it's a K. Yes. K W A R T S. I think. Quartz. Yeah. Sounds like how sounds like how we Swedes pronounce it. I okay. don't know how to spell it though. How many nets was it? Nine. Okay. We have how many? Okay, we need nine cloths. Five more. Okay. The, these merchants do make things a lot easier like this. And... There we have boats. I don't know what's out there, but I need to find out before I return. Bring back some good things to eat. Don't forget to explore below the surface. You never know what you might discover. You're going the wrong way. The secrets are all off to the east. I think that was the alchemist who said that last one. Tip. When riding a vehicle or animal, you can hit E to see details about what you're riding and feed or fuel it. Okay, there we go. Setting sail. Not for one piece. Yeah, he was... He was... I think he meant the mountain with that, but, well, we saw how much we got our asses kicked by uh, Frosty. Yeah. And in the meantime, they're still adding to the build... 
to the storehouse over there. Okay. Yeah. Only recently I learned that my theory was correct all along. Okay. Uh, I'll not ask then. Yeah, I will not be able to put it. That's this one of the I'm being surprised I was right. Hey there, it's nice to see other survivors selling out here. Hello, Pelican. <laughs> Come on. Don't mind her, that's just Polly's way of saying hello. Hope you don't mind a bit of seawater on your boots. Sir, do you know what island lies ahead? Sure do, the island's called Sunset Haven, and it has more survivors than any other island I've seen. Makes sense too, as it is where the main ship crashed. Okay. Alright, don't mind, so this crashed with a ship. Yeah. But watch yourself, I heard some bad rumors about Sunset Haven lately. What the heck is he eating? Uh, probably fish. So what is this music? It's... something. What? Build? Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't, I don't recognize whatever this is, so I'm guessing not. And there's not really pine trees in the Netherlands. And what are you? What? No pine trees in Netherlands? Nope. Hey kid, would you like some rare goods? You can't buy these anywhere else. Titanium or rain? Cockatiel. Collects nearby items. Shadow Ow. cape. Okay, that's an some jetpack. <laughs> the jetpack looks like a snowman. And a horn. Kitchen blueprints. Kitchen upgrades. Twenty-five thousand. Okay. Power line. Yeah. Warehouse. I guess the stuff great for the storehouse. Yeah. I thought I was going to have to kill that uh, guy, I presume. Like, this... These animations are like Sierra quality, I'd say. You, may, like, you know Sierra, right? Yes, I know those. May the rest in peace. Let's see, welcome to the Golden Key, finest and only a room and board this side of the desert. There's a desert. So this is an inn, do you get many people through here? A fair few come through Sunset Haven, exploring, trading, looking for a place to call home. So basically we landed in well, the armpit of this planet whilst everyone else was thriving. <laughs> If we don't get power back soon, who knows if anyone will stay? I can't tell you how many times I've been tempted to go and give those Neros a piece of my mind. Neros? So they have a power problem. Okay, yeah, that's a full on power line. Okay. Oh! This must be a generator? Okay. Yeah, and this is this the generator to survive the crash. So I guess they. This is a situation where the planet got accidentally colonized by survivors or the they crashed. Could be, yeah. It's totally fried, this is awful. What happened? The mirrors tried to reroute the power and almost blew the whole thing up. Expecting us to clean up after our failed experiments. Gah! I don't even have any titanium left, so there's no way to repair it. Mechanic needs titanium to fix the power plants. Okay. So we're not really supposed to dig down past the lava yet. We're just supposed to move sideways. Uh, okay, they have a full-on police station. Or I can't believe the power plant isn't working. How can I uh, do business like this? Apparently not now. Or merchant. Okay, these are upgraded ones. 
pretty sure. Yeah, they... We can't work with them with the power out, apparently. And I'm guessing... These short ones are the mirrors? Like, and this one... Hmm. That might mean that you also are a mirror. Uh, for now, at least, let's collect some coal. I really should fix that wolf, but that wolf looks more like a pit bull. I'm guessing titanium will be buried down here somewhere. The ground certainly looks different, and it's a lot more dense with the coal. Okay, whatever that is, I want to know, but I also don't want our stamina to run out. I'm afraid we can't let you stay here until the power comes back on. At least the game's safe, but... Um, can I build a quick kitchen here? No. <laughs> um... Oh, cheeseburgers restore stamina as well. Okay. Hmm. Oh, come on. You drain stamina for going underground. Let's see, what is this? Sulfur. Okay, we might as well collect a bit more of that. That explains the smell. What we really want is titanium, so where is that? Is that in the stone area here? And more quartz, and there's the stone. <coughs> and we can't dig through this. Hmm. <laughs> also, Gazoon height. Thank you. Button again there. Okay, so our steel pick can't go through this stone here. Hmm. Well, there's another method to go through that stone then, if your steel pick can't handle it. Yep, explosives maybe. But no, no, we'll have to no, find no, out no. how. No, 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 no. Explosives of wimps. Use headbutts. I don't think Ma I don't think Miss Bellum is the heavy metal sort. Yeah, and just remember, they did that in uh, Brutal Legend. Yeah. I actually forgot that when I, when I made a joke. Hmm. It's, where do we get titanium then? Good question. And I actually, if you look at Miss Bellum's hair. Who knows what you might hide in there? Now my guess is bees. And there's some sort of electric dog over there. Hmm. Whatever the that case, for now, steel axe and get the chopping. Animated movie called Hunting Pooch or something? Uh, yeah, I remember uh, seeing that. Or oh, you seeing see it. it. I, I didn't see that movie itself, but I know of it. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. Oh, no, it, oh, no, it, 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 it of a trailer. So I I don't know if it's a good movie or not. I didn't hear bad things about it, at least. But have you heard anything about it? Uh, nothing much uh, besides that. So, yeah, that could be good or bad. If we can, let's see if we can build a, a kitchen here, so uh, we we don't end up starving to death here. 
Sounds like met carnivorous seeds. Okay, uh, it sounds like uh, metal hitting metal. And speaking of that, let's lower that sound. Are you cutting down iron wood? I guess so. And fun fact, people, iron wood is a real thing. Though I think iron wood is more like a umbrella term for. Several trees, I think. I have to double check it, but I know that some of the ironwood, if not all of them, require special, very special tools to cut them. For they will apparently break regular uh, circle saws and so regular saws as well. Please let me tell you how strong the damn wood is. Wait. Okay, red berries actually are poisonous, but they give more attack. Wait, what? Uh, but we can we can still eat the purple berries. And yeah, I'm guessing we need to come back here later when we've gotten our hands some titanium. I guess you use the red berries for some potions to make it a bit more safer for consumption. Uh, yeah, we used it earlier with the alchemist. Uh, can we build here or not? Uh, no, we don't have coal. And we... Storehouse. We can build a farm here. Oh, there's the barn. But we're one wood short. Can we build or not? We, we, we can! Okay, that's good. Then this should allow us to... <clears throat> ...to generate some food here automatically. No. But for now, I guess we can just plant some trees. No, don't throw them away. Plant. Hmm. Uh, do we have anything on us that we can plant here? Besides the trees, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll have to go to the other side again then. Uh, because we're stuck here until we can get titanium. I forgot if that's an edible thing or not. Yeah, conifer. Conifer is the type of tree. It's the. No, oh, it's the pine trees and such. Oh, alright. So it is edible. Hey, my cat Perry ran away from me again. Do you think you could help me find her? I think she's trying to avoid sailing. Not a fan of the water. It's a cat! If you help me out, I'll teach you what I know of fishing. Well, some cats love water. Who likes toothfish? Okay. Here's a spare fishing rod. Talk to me if you want fishing tips. Toothfish are Perry's favorite. Maybe do with some of those. Yeah, and I know there are some species of wildcats that love water, but they are all fish girls. Yeah, tigers will. Okay. 
tigers will cross uh, water if they if, if it'll lead them to a new hunting ground and how how oh, there we go okay yeah most of them almost only house cats that dislike water But again, some wild cats that are, that you could mistake for a house cat. Noobs always need water for the Fisher cats. Just forgot what they are called. Okay, where do I where do I find that cats? Maybe ask the goose. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, that looks like a cat. And I, to... it, I think it ran inside the <laughs> I think it ran inside the inn. Like really you can't let us stay because the light Oh it, it still progressed <laughs> It still progressed and it's still saved. Okay. Too fast can't catch her. So do we need to chase after her? Or do we need more fish? I think we're gaining. And yeah, I don't think having a wolf with us... There... No. I think having a wolf with us doesn't help either. And yeah, it looks like we need to feed it more... We need to feed it more to slow it down. Like, just get it too fat or too full to run. <laughs> That's so mean! That's actually quite mean, ain't it? Okay, and the, the fishing minigame seems to be just uh, wait for the right moment and press the action button. Though the, the window seems to be pretty small for that. Yeah, still too fast. Too fast, too furious. But as long as it's not as bad as the first near uh, near games uh, fishing I game. Yes, that game had a very bad fishing game system. And if you want to control with the main story, you have to do it. Eh? Okay, let's let's try and catch this cat again. Hmm. Uh, first though, save that. Uh, might as well save that and move everything else in here. And how long have we been going? 148. She didn't bolt away as fast. Okay. Uh, captured. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's give it until we hit two hours and then call it. Yeah, uh, mm. pr promise me one thing, Helium. Mm -hmm. Don't do this to Inky. <laughs> no, I won't shove an entire fish up her, uh, down her throat. <laughs> Good, if I'm concerned, otherwise. Hey, you found my cat. Thanks, man. She's looks like a completed one over. I bet she'd be happier with you. Why don't you keep her? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that's a better reward than some fishing advice. Let's see. Yeah, Damage three. Time, like you spend all the time to get his cat back, then he goes, eh, "You can have her." And she deals no. less damage, but. Cat is cat. Yeah, just... I don't know, it just feels weird. Like, did he really... Uh, maybe... Okay, it might be in the case of uh, a bit hot, you know... Uh, that it was a bit too short, that you really don't sure he was attached to a cat or not. Yeah. And well, cats were useful on boats, they kept rodents uh, in check, because 
Yeah, every boat would eventually be infiltrated by rodents going after it. So that's where the pies went. Yeah, infiltrated by rodents that would go after the food and well having cats on board would you know, you know would uh, <coughs> deal with those. No, I don't yeah. want the store, I want to eat. And he also kind of why he was also taking cats uh, for to play, take other things in the farms from rodents. That's not very good at pest control. Wolves were, well, they were very handy for uh, hunting. Yeah, and guarding. Oh, there. Yeah. But not as much guarding against rats. Yeah. And what was the whirlpool about? Uh, yeah, a whirlpool. I'd rather not find out what is at the bottom of that. Well, that's a lot of obvious. Yeah. Uh, Atlantis. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure if I would call it a phobia of water itself. Well, it's not a phobia of water, but I I don't like the deep waters because uh, yeah. you, when you can't see anything coming. So you could be at, uh, getting attacked by what who knows what's from whatever direction. Yeah, I agree. I fear that as well. I uh, even been far out in the water on one of those paddle boats that you step on and you see a very big shore. It was not a great wipe, but made me really want to go back to shore. Yeah. Hello, merchants. Oh, no, you have it. Let's see, now that you have, can have items spread across multiple islands, wouldn't it be nice to be able to transfer them from storehouse to storehouse? With our new shipping service, you can, for a small V. Of course. Uh, I don't want to ship items. You can ship those right up your ass. Oh, come on. But, uh, actually, here's a thing I've been thinking about for a while. It says, I know you told me about this fear before, and we sort of have it similar on ease about it. But that has raised a very good question. Why the heck do you want to play games like the Atlas and... Uh, Oh, it's the Sea of Thieves that has so many deep seas. Oh, uh, with Sea of Thieves at least, the it's not really, from what I know in Sea of Thieves the seas aren't aren't actually that deep. Like you get like five meters down and you hit the bottom, I think. Uh, but Atlas, uh, yeah, a Atlas, I'm going to avoid at all costs because that just goes straight into the fucking abyss. Yeah, th that one I saw it really pull you a few screw-overs. But I think you might be a bit wrong about the uh, Sea of Thieves there. They have deep sea. Okay. Like, otherwise, how would you else fit a Kraken or Megalodon? Yeah, but those have their own specific spawn areas, I think. But I could be wrong. Uh, I forgot to buy it whilst it was on sale anyway, so yeah. Yeah, both time I tried to talk about buying it, I saw that you need to also sign up for an Xbox account when you yeah. buy it. For so apparently, it's uh, yeah. When you buy it, you're supposed to be able to play it on PC along with Xbox players. Okay, crossplay. Yeah, so you are forced to get an a Xbox uh, account just to play it, it, it along with your Steam account. Uh, I think you mean speci more specifically a Microsoft account, but I'd have to find out on my own. Uh, they, they said uh, Xbox on the site or <laughs> on the on Steam that the uh, Xbox Live. Okay. And I think yeah. I already have an account of that from old uh, Windows Vista games. Yeah, but I don't, and I am not eager to get a third party account. Just, here's the thing, I, I got to borrow a, one of the Heroes of Magmatic games that had the first time got Naga, 
deflection. Okay. I got to borrow the team account and uh, I think this was the other account for whatever company that owned it and it was horrible. This connection every 30 minutes or less. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if you noticed there, but Perry absolutely massacred those boars. I actually missed it, but I had to look out the way for a second. Okay. But yeah, I have heard a lot of things that the third party accounts that when you if you wanna play play the game but need to be logged out in on both accounts to play it, it's usually very bad. Uh, I think we found that secret the uh, the alchemist was talking about. It's a freaking dragon. A red run uh, one, I mean red one. Oh dear. You are not going to attack? Okay, that's good because I'm not sure if I've saved. <laughs> okay. You crash on an alien planet. Oh, mother. He can throw through the walls. And there are dragons on it. And so along with the earth creatures. Okay, I see fur and normal berries, red berries. Oh, we there's the ice berries. Okay, so you did. Also, what I noticed there is you don't have to have the... Yeah, you can chop the trees with an axe, even when you don't have it equipped as your main weapon. That's useful. Yeah, that, that makes sense, that is kinda nice. Okay. So, with the Abominable Snowman dealt with, let's go back, because we're <laughs> over carrying capacity anyways. We can, uh, we can leave the dragon be. Uh, actually, we can rest here. Hello, hello again. I'd like to know more about this place and whether there's anything beyond these islands. <laughs> okay, we've already established that. There's other islands out there to the east. I've seen them from high in the mountains. Think we could get there? Not sure. The coast on that end is treacherous. Plus, these island, those islands look plenty strange to me. Might be dangerous. So you're saying we should just be content with the way things are? I'm saying that we don't need to go bar uh, borrowing trouble when life is already hard. Well, I, I wouldn't say that life is really... Was that a shooting star or something? There was something purple flying across the screen. I think that was just the moon. Since we were up a bit higher. But still, that, that looked like something just flew by at Mach, fa Mach 5. Good kitty. Don't shoot the canes, look like bamboo. Okay. Oh, we're... I forgot that we were already at our carry capacity, but we can just walk these last bits. <laughs> Anything of interest in here? What is that symbol behind that? Okay, whatever is the case, we're we're almost at two hours. So yeah, I th I th I actually want to continue this game. That yeah, looks very really good now. Uh, it, it is sad that other YouTubers didn't continue, but at the same time I can't understand a bit why. There were, again, many games coming up. Yeah. Well, and I did get that to do a possible. preview show of the game. Ah, oh, there's no fuel. And I think we're out of coal. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we might... I'm not sure if I'd say for a full stream play of this uh, game, but maybe on something Sunday we can start off with some aground and then move on to a different game halfway through. I'm kind of curious how long this game is, but this, this is more a sto very story-based game, it seems. Yeah. This is kind of good, but... Mm. <clears throat> kind of a bit hard to know uh, if, if this one will be fun to stream all the way through or not. Yeah, we'll see. But, yeah, for now though... Anyone who's brand watching now later on on YouTube, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for watching Four Noons. You are the only name that's showing up in chat that's not my own. <laughs> and thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're welcome. And yeah, this has been a makeup stream of a grounds for having to end the stream early lo yesterday. And actually, before I forget, I saw something here. Chickens. Let's buy one of those. So and oh, and the cow. Also that. So next time we can add those to our farm here. But uh, yeah, for now, tomorrow we'll be playing Blood Omen 2 again. But until then, until then. Is it